Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Sarah Chu. The Selangor government has opened investigations into allegations of massive land cheating cases that have run into millions of ringgit. Selangor Menteri Besar Tan Sri Khalid Ibrahim says the matter will be discussed during a special meeting with all nine district officers in the state Thursday. He says that in Kapa, Klang, a group claims that the land they occupied under temporary occupancy licenses was awarded to several other parties, although they had been willing to buy it. Khalid says his discussion will also include claims over the ownership of a plot of land in Sabah Burnham, where the change of ownership was discovered after the owner's death. Hindu Rights Action Force, or Hindraf, Chairman Wei Tamurti, has slammed MIC President Datuk Sri S. Samivelu for saying he will urge Prime Minister Datuk Sri Abdullah Ahmad Badawi to release the five Hindraf leaders. The five are currently detained under the ISA. In a statement issued from London, Wei Tamurti says Samivelu was part of the system that had incarcerated the five. He says Sami Valu should instead apologise to the families of the detainees for failing to oppose the arrests openly when they occurred last December. Islamic Institute of Understanding Malaysia and the Sharia Judiciary Department Malaysia want non-Muslims found committing kalwat or close proximity with Muslims to be held liable for the offence. Sharia Court of Appeal Judge Datuk Muhammad Asri Abdullah says that under the proposal, non-Muslims shall be sentenced accordingly in the civil courts. He says that the Sharia court do not have the jurisdiction to sentence non-Muslims committing kawat with Muslims, as only Muslims can be sentenced in Sharia courts. Muhammad Asri says the proposal will be forwarded to the Attorney General Chambers. Sungai Patani Mempi Johari Abdul says Parliament sitting should be telecast, either live or delayed, to enable the people to follow its proceedings. He says it is time for Malaysia to allow such telecasts like in other countries. He says he will make that proposal when the parliament convenes next month. Johari adds that allowing the people to follow through the sittings will make MPs more accountable and serve the people better in their constituencies. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Sarah Chu. Thanks for watching.